The Biden administration ending the requirement that international travelers test negative for the coronavirus before coming to the U.S. The CDC saying it's just no longer necessary. So joining us now is Amanda Climac, president of Largay Travel. Amanda, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me, Nicole. Today's right. a good day in travel. It is a good day in travel. So talk about what this policy change means for people planning to travel overseas. Well, you know, this allows people the ability to know that when they travel, they'll be able to come home and not worry about quarantining. Now, certainly if someone is ill while they're traveling, we would recommend that they see a doctor and take the recommendations. But this does take for people that don't have symptoms that worry of being stuck overseas away. You know, and Amanda, you've had clients get stuck overseas due to the COVID rules. Tell us about that. We've had a lot of clients stuck overseas, and of course, we're there to assist them. I mean, this has been the best job security we've ever had in our industry, but, you know, we're there to help them. And unfortunately, it's something where they do have to follow the local rules as well as stay quarantined based on the country they're in. And, and you just said that this, this has been good for business. So are people maybe relying on travel agents a little bit more just because the rules were so different for different countries entering, coming back to the U.S.? You know, you really weren't sure. Yeah, I mean, for us, it's been great because people do realize that travel is complicated and a lot of things can happen, whether your flight's delayed or there's an issue while you're traveling or if you're unwell. And so people have been relying on us more and more. But, you know, it's been one of those things where we've been assisting, but it really didn't make sense that they kept the rule in place because it wasn't preventing the spread of the illness. It was just inconveniencing a lot of people who um, sometimes test positive falsely um, and, and have to stay abroad. All right, Amanda Climac, thank you so much for your time today. We appreciate it. Thank you, Nicole. Great. And we hope thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.